Today I'm going to be talking about dent disease. It is a kidney disorder affecting mostly males. Dr. Dent and Dr. Friedman founded dent disease in 1964. The first mention of dent disease was while treating boys with rickets. Dr. Oliver Wrong in 1990 fully described the disease as uh, um, fully described the disease being named after his mentor, Dr. Dent. The etiology behind dent disease. Um, as you can see, dent disease in type 1 has a mutation in chromosome CLCN5, and in dent disease type 2, it has a mutation in the chromosome ORCL1. Now, although it affects um, men, um, the women, the woman also can carry the the gene for it or can be a carrier for it as well. The incidence behind dent disease. For type 1 it affects approximately 250 families and for type 2 it affects approximately 25 families. As you can see from the pie chart that you can see it broken down to the ratio of how many people are actually affected by it. The symptoms of type 1 is protein and increased calcium in the urine, as well as kidney stones, increased urinary tract infections, and renal failure. For type 2, all the above symptoms that I previously listed, as well as mild intellectual disability, cloud, cloudiness of the eyes, and hypertonia. Now, as you can see, it, it does affect the urinary system, such as the kidneys, the ureter, ureter and the bladder. The diagnostic, the diagnostic testing behind dent disease um, is first a chemical analysis of, of urine, molecular, molecular ge genetic testing, as well as then a kidney biopsy. Treatment and prognosis of dent disease um, would be medications, which include a different, uh, three different types of medications may be prescribed, as well as um, a doc. Um, different diet, which would be a high citrate diet, and if this is not managed by medication and diet, which could then lead to renal failure, dialysis, and um, eventually kidney transplant. 